Hey guys, welcome to part two of the Istanbul vlog. One, yes, I'm wearing a bathrobe. Two, yes, this is a temporary tattoo of the Taipei skyline in the form of an EKG. Isn't that cute? It was a, uh, it was a fun night last night. So today's vlog is actually from the first full day I was in Istanbul. If you watched the last Istanbul vlog, the first one right here, I actually mixed up the footage. I found some more footage on an extra SD card. This video is entirely from the first day. So basically I landed in Istanbul and then the next day I filmed this. And then the night when I got home from this vlog is when I got locked out of the last hostel. Sorry, I mixed up the footage. Sometimes these things happen, just, yeah. All right, without further ado, enjoy. <laughs> Hello and welcome. Today I'm in Istanbul, formerly Constantinople, formerly of the Ottoman Empire. The city's been around for a long, long time. I don't really... This guy knows what I'm talking about. Uh, to be totally honest, I have no plans. I just had an opportunity to come. I have friends here. So I figured I would come and check it out. But you know, because I have my food, sweets, addiction, problem, craving thing, I definitely want to go get some uh, famous Turkish dessert, which of course means baklava. So that's where I'm, that's what I'm doing. I'm on my way to this, supposedly the best baklava in the city. We'll see about that. My place is up this hill back there. I gotta get a picture of this guy. So I'm staying up this big hill up here and I was walking down to go to this baklava place and I came across this freaking gorgeous skyline, which is just, To get that shot just nah. to get that shot just now I had to climb out onto the ledge. That ledge. Worth it. I've just been here for a night, but it's cool so far. The food's fantastic. It's phenomenal. The coffee's good. It's like a Turkish coffee is like kind of thick and a little, it's like kind of the texture's like grainy, a little granular. Super tasty. Very unique taste. I had baklava at another delicious place last night, like one of the first things I ate here and it was just like melt in your mouth, buttery good, like just flaky, just creamy, it was just so, so nice. But one thing though, I went running here, I went running here yesterday. It's not really, it's not really, I mean, from what I've seen, I don't think it's really set up for people to exercise, but it's, the city's like a thousand years old or cool figure they were thinking about hobby joggers a thousand years ago. I mean, of course. <laughs> I've, uh, I've located the baklava place. Let's go check it out. Good mm. Oh my goodness gracious. I've, I've heard this is the best baklava in the city. That's, that's what I've heard. Hello. <laughs> Do you hear that love from Istanbul, from Istanbul to the USA? Very warm people here. Uh, it's like gooey and soft, yet a little crispy. Um, I don't know what flavors any of these are. I think one's walnut, one's pistachio, one's chocolate. I didn't know they made chocolate baklava. But honestly, man, it's like so good. I'm, I have to like lower my expectations because if I just give it like a 10, if I give, if I give everything a 10, then it's just, just no reference point. Definitely better than any baklava I've had in the States, for sure. So you'll notice that I've strategically placed the camera so that the news is in the background. I'm actually here the day on or the day after Rex Tillerson came to Ankara, the capital of Turkey, to kind of talk and hopefully repair ties between the US and Turkey. I don't want to get into any political things on the channel. The people I've met so far have all been extremely nice, extremely kind. So that's what I was talking with uh, the gentleman about, the owner, I think he's the owner. He was pointing at the news and he was kind of trying to talk about it without making anything political. I think it's important when there is a news headline, when there is any kind of crazy event, I think we all could benefit from being a little more empathetic and putting yourself in another person's shoes and thinking from another person's perspective. And it's easy to 
to think of a country as like like a single object because we literally have a label for it. Like labeling something makes it easier to kind of distinguish it. Traveling to a country that's in conflict right now, it's it's never black and white. There's always a gray area. Okay, so my Jake's Traveler uh, Sweet Tooth Addiction Problems review of this beautiful baklava place is that uh, you should totally go. It's a good, it's a thumbs up, it's a 10 out of 10. But what I, what I always notice, man, when I go to places like this, I always talk to the people. People here, like the staff, the staff are just, I don't know, man, everyone's, everyone's like super nice. Like I was just talking about there being a gray area. Like these people are just normal people like you and me. They wake up every day, they have coffee, they hang out with their loved ones. Really nice, really friendly people. When I came in, everyone was sort of smiling and stuff when I saw my camera and they are just like, oh, cool, do you do YouTube? I'm like, I try to. And we started talking about politics and just like we both hope that the problems kind of go away between the two countries. And I guess, I guess gray area is kind of a wrong way to describe it. It's like, there's always bystanders with an action. So, like I was just talking to two people last night and they were like, uh, it's changed. Like it's become much less international. It's become much more Eastern. Like before you could walk around the streets and there would be, you'd see a lot more foreigners and stuff, but now it's kind of changed. So I think that was my point. Like big political actions have huge repercussions that people like don't really think about. There's been a lot less tourists because it's perceived as dangerous here. Businesses are suffering, like tourist businesses, restaurants, hotels, hostels, jobs for like English teachers, super available because everyone's left. I don't know, just it affects a lot more things than people think about. There's a photo shoot going on. Walking down the street within like two two minutes of each other, like two separate photo shoots. I mean, I guess it makes sense. It's a very picturesque city. It's not it's not picturesque like, like it's it's very classic like classical, but it's just like very picturesque as in like it's raw because it's just been here for so long. <laughs> Dope, wasn't it? This is such a cool, this is such a cool scene. It's just a bunch of fishermen. God, I said it was raw, it's not raw, it's like real. It's like a real city. Man, I don't know, I'm only gonna be here for like four days and I just really get the feeling that that's not enough time. I just think there's like so much history here and, and so much culture that it's, I, I need a lot longer than four days. I probably need like four months here to be totally honest. Look at this. Just hanging out in traffic, looking at stuff that's like 2,000 years old. No big deal, am I right? <laughs> I am going right here to the Basilica. I think it was like a water treatment plant or something like that. I'm not really sure, but it said it was like 545 AD was when it was built. So I, I gotta just go like, touch it and see it. And contrasting that last place, that delicious baklava place, with this place I'm at now, charging my camera batteries. So this is a kebab shop. I think the owner came over and I was like, oh, uh, what do you recommend? And he, and then he went to the menu and then he, the first thing he pointed out, he's like, oh, this is the best thing. And he pointed at it and it was the most expensive thing uh, on the menu by like 30%. He's like, this is really good. This is the best. So I'm like, oh, really? For 45, for 45 Turkish lira, which is like, literally twice as much as most everything else in the menu. I obviously didn't get that, and I got something else, and then, and then he brings me this. I ate it, I'm sorry, but there's just like, look little french fries that are like the bottom of the barrel french fries that were cold, and the meat was like scraps of meat that was cold. I hate that feeling like I'm getting ripped off just because I'm a foreigner. I never felt that way in Budapest. Sometimes people might get a little irritated because I didn't speak the language, which is totally understandable, but I never felt like they were like, oh my God, foreigner, let's rip them off. I just I really dislike that that attitude like that's not what makes the world go around grandma's like don't take a taxi because they'll rip you off She's like, call me when you get in a taxi and I'll talk to them so they don't rip you off I'm like what that's that's bizarre I know that happens in the States and stuff sometimes but I'm in no way implying that like everybody here is like that or anything like that everyone I've met so far before that guy has just been freaking awesome and super warm and it's really nice to talk to Giant freaking, yeah, it's like a giant kiln or something. 
<laughs> her kid. <laughs> that woman. Her kid like scrambled back there. Get back here. You get back here now. Oh. She's looking for him. She's looking for the kid. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, a little nugget. A little nugget ran away. Uh, you may have noticed that I'm not walking towards the thing that I was walking to before. Uh, mm, they're closed. So I'll have to come back another day. And I kind of walk back because I'm freezing. Camera's running low on batteries. I got some stuff I want to work on. I'm going to end my little Istanbul vlog right now. Istanbul vlog. Istanbul vlog. Turka vlog. Um, and I'll do a little more research and I'll find some fun stuff to show you guys tomorrow. Like historical things and stuff with the history. But the hist. I don't want to like research all the history. It's so stressful. Like, what if you get it wrong and then everyone's like, ah, okay. I'll show you some more sites tomorrow. But first thoughts, I think I think this city's cool. I don't know if I could live here for a long time. It's definitely cool to visit. It reminds me so much of like New York, but with stuff like this. It's like the hustle and the bustle of New York. We're like moving, they got places they want to be, maybe a little gruffer, right? But definitely with more history. I mean, this place was Constantinople, which is just like mind-bogglingly old and important in world history. So I'm excited to get to know this place a little better. It should be a cool four or five days. I'm looking forward to showing you guys some more beautiful sights and giving you a little more uh, insight into what it's like here. Okay, I will talk to you guys later.